In a high-stakes test flight over Europe, the future of air warfare just took a bold leap forward. On May, Swedish defense giant Saab and German AI firm Helsing conducted a historic trial. An artificial intelligence-controlled Gripen E fighter jet was pitted against a real human-piloted Gripen D in a beyond-visual-range combat scenario. This wasn't a simulation. This was real metal, real skies, and real-time decisions led by a machine. The AI, named Centaur, was developed by Helsing and integrated into the cockpit of a Gripen E multirole fighter. It marked the first publicly known instance of an AI flying a fighter jet autonomously in a BVR setting. The jet maneuvered, tracked, and cued weapons, all without direct human input in real time. The third test flight, conducted on June 3rd, saw the AY's adaptability pushed to the limit. Starting distances, approach speeds, and engagement angles were all varied. Even its access to command and control data was temporarily disabled. And yet, Centaur successfully executed advanced aerial maneuvers. In short, the AI not only flew, it fought. Project Beyond, as the initiative is called, is more than a flashy demonstration. It's a proving ground for how AI might fundamentally reshape air combat. In BVR engagements, where radar, sensors, and split-second calculations matter more than human reflexes, AI can think faster than any pilot ever could. So why does this matter? First, BVR engagements have increasingly defined modern air combat. From the Gulf War to today, aircraft often never see their enemies before launching missiles. In this environment, reaction speed, threat evaluation, and data processing are crucial, all areas where AI can outperform humans. Second, autonomous systems like Centaur could allow for loyal wingman models, where unmanned jets support human pilots, or even fully autonomous air fleets in high-risk missions, reducing human casualties. Third, it signals a strategic acceleration. While the U.S. Air Force has been developing AI dogfighting systems with DARPA's Air Combat Evolution Program, Saab and Helsing may have just leapfrogged global competitors by putting a live AI into a real aircraft under real combat simulation conditions. There are, of course, significant concerns. Who holds accountability when a jet fires autonomously? How do ethics and rules of engagement evolve? Will adversaries, state or non-state, exploit this same technology? These are no longer theoretical questions. As Saab and Helsing continue training Centaur with real flight data, more tests are scheduled later this year. The goal? To sharpen its decision-making in combat and optimize it for BVR dominance. One thing is clear, the sky is no longer the exclusive domain of human pilots. With each new flight, the balance of air power shifts, not just between nations, but between man and machine.